Hello, Namaste, Salam Alaikum, Satsrikal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at Vareva.com. I know February 14th is coming. Somehow I'm always late. But from next time, when a festival is coming, I'll make sure we'll have videos up front 10 days before the actual festival. So today, we're going to make the basic eggless sponge. After that, we're also going to make black forest cake. Before I go ahead and show you how to make this basic eggless cake, let me tell you what happens when a regular cake and why making eggless cake is a little more difficult. You know, making eggless cake is a lot more difficult than making a cake with eggs because, you know, the cake with eggs, eggs acts as a very good binding as well as a raising agent, which is missing in our eggless cake. So whenever we make eggless cake, you know, we don't use deep pans like this. See, in the deep pans like this, when you make an eggless cake, the inside part is a little bit raw and it doesn't cook very easily. Whereas, when you use the same mixture on a thin sheets of these trays. See, with this tray, what we're going to do is we're going to pour a very thin layer of eggless cake mixture. We're going to bake in two or three trays. After it is done, we're going to cut the sheets into the shapes you want and we're going to make the cakes. So, if you don't have a thin tray, just go ahead and get a thin tray because these kind of trays are very good to make your cookies and so on. So just go ahead and buy one or two trays which we're going to use for making a lot of cakes in the future. The whole idea of the wash of showing you anything is to make sure that if you see something, you should be able to replicate and make it easily at home. So I'm going to show you in the most simplest form. To make this eggless cake, I'm going to use around 200 ml of condensed milk. If you don't have condensed milk, don't worry, just add a little bit of milk. I'm going to pour around 200 ml of condensed milk. For this, if you have regular sugar, you can go ahead and add. But if you have powdered sugar, you know, it's even more better. It makes it a little bit easy. So I'm going to add uh, powdered sugar, around one and a half uh, cup of powdered sugar. And then let's mix. For this recipe, I'm going to use around three cups of flour. So I'm going to use around one and a half cup of butter that I melted. Make sure melt it and pour it warm. Okay. You don't need a food processor like this. You just can mix it with hand. I've just got it, so I'm using it. Now the next ingredient is flour. So for this, I'm going to use around uh, three cups of flour. So instead of three cups, I'm going to add two and a half cups of flour. Why instead of three cups? Why I'm adding two and a half cups is because I'm going to use that half cup of cocoa powder. Okay, now I'm going to add, here is my half cup of cocoa powder. So now you're getting to understand what you do to make a nice chocolate cake. You replace the amount of flour, a small portion with cocoa powder. If any recipe, take a regular recipe of any cake, if it asks for three cups of flour and if it is a regular vanilla cake and you want to make it into a chocolate cake, all you do is reduce half a cup of uh, all-purpose flour with cocoa powder and it will work fine. For this, use around one tablespoon of baking powder. Usually we never use this much quantity of baking powder, but since this doesn't have eggs which acts as a raising agent, we increase a little bit amount of baking powder. That's what I did. Just mix it up. Pour this mixture of sugar, butter, and um, condensed milk into this. Just mix it a little bit. Do not try to mix it fully. Just mix it off. Now we are going to bring our Coke. You can use thumbs up. You can use any kind of uh, soda. Your kids also will get excited. We are going to use around one and a half uh, Coke in this. So just pour the Coke. Okay. Slowly mix it up. Four more. Now if you notice this mixture, it is the consistency of a nice brownie consistency. This thickness is not good enough because we want to make it a nice sponge cake and we are going to spread it on a thin tray. 
where little extra moisture will not hurt. So, I'm going to open one more can and we're going to pour half a can. Okay. So, just mix it slowly. Okay. Now, our cake mixture is ready. So now we are going to pour this into thin trays and going to put it in the oven. Now I have got two trays. These, both these trays are non-stick trays. But in case I am going to use this non-stick spray, okay, a little bit. You can also use uh, butter paper, that's what a uh, lot of people call it as a baker sheet on the tray. That way you can remove the, your sheet easily from the tray after it is baked. We are going to split this equally. This mixture is not as tasty as the mixture with egg. And also, the quantity of the sugar we added is also a little bit less. Because these sheets, we are going to convert them with a nice icing. And the icing has a lot of sugar. Spread it evenly on all sides. Same thing with this. After you are done, just, just tap the sheet. And there is another reason why we make eggless cakes into a sponge sheets like this. See, when you put this mixture into a bigger container, what happens is these things swells in the center because there is so much of, uh, you know, baking powder we added. So to avoid this, you convert into sheets. And also one great thing when converting into sheets is, there is no place that it is not cooked or it is raw inside. This cake will cook much faster in less than half the time that you take to cook regular cake. So now this mixture is ready. I'm going to put it in the oven. After I bake this, I'm going to make beautiful black forest cake for all my vegetarians and I'm sure you're going to try this. Okay. Now, one more thing about making this sponge cake is it takes a lot lesser time than baking your cake. When you put these trays into the oven, you have to preheat the oven for almost uh, 15 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Trust me, dear friends, baking an eggless cake is a little more difficult then baking a cake with eggs. To make this eggless cake into sponge sheets, you need to bake first 15 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and then immediately switch off the oven. Do not bring the sheets out even if you see a little bit color. Switch off the oven and let the oven cool down a little bit. So in the meantime, this rest of the cakes will get cooked. So total 30 minutes. First bake it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for first 15 minutes and switch off the oven, but do not remove the sheet out. But if you want, you can keep the oven door a little bit open if you see too much color on these cakes. And uh, now I'm going to show you how these cakes have come out. Now look at this thin sheet, okay? I'm going to remove this also. So now you can see the top part and the bottom part. And look at this, very beautiful, nice sponge. You can see how nice it is. See. If you see that the cake is a little bit dry, do not panic because when we make black forest cake, we are going to sprinkle a little bit sugared water and um, you can mix a lot of things into it. We are going to learn more about that when we make this black forest cake. So this is how you make your basic eggless cake. With this, you can turn these sheets into wonderful cakes, as many different kind of cakes as you want. Once you are able to master how to make these sponge sheets, you can literally make hundreds and thousands of kinds of cakes. So, I hope you have enjoyed to learn how to make this eggless cake with your war chef at whatever.com. Remember, whatever is all about inspiring others to cook. So, please post your recipes and cooking tips at whatever.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.